Today we are back at the beautiful and rainy St. John's Bridge with Nate. Nate, thanks for coming to play with us again. With that, we are back for the what we believe is a Cadillac Brougham. 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 Tell me how you pronounce that. Anyway, Nate's gonna go down and see if he can mark it. Good luck, Nate. If he does, we're bringing up a Cadillac today. So I think Nate's having a little bit of an issue. Like he's been over there, he's been over there, he's been all around there. It's not as easy as you think. Like this water's like really murky and muddy right now. So let's go see if we can help Nate out. Did you find the right car? I don't know. So they will take this open carabiner and just attach it so that way I've got everything right overhead to work with. Okay. So we've never done it this way before, but I find that we're getting more efficient. I'm loading all my chains on buoy balls here. So that way, everything's right overhead. I don't have to keep swimming back to dock for the heavy stuff. All right, check, check, check. We can go get this thing hooked up. We'll see in a few. You know, I don't think I've been in the Willamette River since before Christmas. It was a lot muddier back then, so at least we have some visibility here. We're on the bottom now. We're on the car. Let's see where Nate hooked this. All right, so he's hooked around one tire there. Is this the front of the car? Nate, I don't even know what car this is you got. I don't think this is the Cadillac we were looking for today. That's a big log right down the middle of it. Yeah, it's a Volkswagen. See? There's the back of it. There's the Volkswagen engine. All right. Well, we found ourselves a Volkswagen. All right, well, let's yank it out of here, huh? Let's go down around here. Get that over there. Get that one there. Oh, look, we got sunshine. You know, we send Nate in to do a job. <laughs> he kind of halfway does it. You want to take a guess as to what kind of car you found? A Volkswagen. Yeah, it's a Volkswagen. <laughs> it, it's like completely destroyed. Uh, let me just put the mask back on and I'll just take the bag, take it straight down, hook it, we're good to go. Check, check, check. Alright, we got the bag attached to the tank. Let's drop all this straight down the line, hook it to the axle that we have marked, inflate this bag and see if it floats. Alright, back on the bottom. So we're going to take that one and attach it to the bag. Check. Now we're going to apply some air to our bag. Alright, the bag is starting to inflate. Alright, Volkswagen's already moving. Whew, that didn't take much at all. I mean, something's moving. Something's going. Okay, we're going up. We might just have the motor only. Zero idea how much we actually have of it. You could feel the whole thing just fall apart. No, did it? We got the rear axle and the floor pan. Do you want to walk it into the shore? Yeah, let's walk it into the shore, see what we actually have. I'm gonna see if I can find the Cadillac. All right, oh, I found a fire extinguisher. Just in case there's a fire under here. So let's just follow this tree right here. Alright, still falling the big tree. Oh, 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 is this it? Is this it? There it is, I found it. Okay, can we read that? It says the Brillman right there that we found before. That kind of looks like a Boy Scout symbol. It's not attached to any log. That's good news. American Racing Wheels. Oh, yeah, we got this one. Would you put the fire out with the extinguisher? Well, I tried, but uh, I couldn't underwater. I couldn't get the pin to pull. Well, I see it pulls much easier up here above. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, I think it's dead. But I did find the uh, Cadillac. Resale value? Oh, you know what? I feel like I'm underwater on this one. <laughs> None of this would be possible without our episode sponsors, and today's episode sponsor is Dive Right In Scuba, where you can get OTS full face masks, you can get Paralens cameras, you can get masks, you can get fins, whatever it is that you need, 
diving related, go check out DiveRightInScuba.com. Mike over there and his team are gonna hook you up. Link is in the description. You know, we got more than I thought. But the good news is we have all the chains I expected, all the carabiners, everything but the motor. I think we actually did pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna do our part to clean up the environment. Northwest Pump and Equipment donated these. Thanks, Northwest. Well, you're a tug guy. Am I doing it right, Blake? Good enough. All right. <laughs> oh, I think it's going. Okay, so we lost the motor, the uh, transmission, and the seat. Here you got that, Rat. Well, this is where the VIN ID is located, as I recall. I don't think there's anything left of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that marks the uh, VW that we didn't expect today. Don't go anywhere because we're still going to go for that Cadillac. We got it marked. We have a whole game plan. I'll tell you what that game plan is. What's up, Brandon? Hello. <laughs> VW for you today. All right. We'll see uh, you in about an hour and a half. Five okay, forty-five. Perfect. Yep. perfect. Thanks, sir. Blake, I say this weather changes like every four minutes. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, so somewhere along the way, we now have this hooked up to the front axle or one of the chains. We have the back one hooked up. We're gonna go get two of our lift bags. See if we can get this car floating. Yep. There's my carabiner. There we go. Make sure the valves are all closed. You know, all that good stuff. All right, bag is almost full. Let's go get our other bag and get that thing floating right away. Nice bag. Thank you. Let's get this thing done and up. That looks good there. So let's go get one more bag. We should get this whole thing floating now. There we go. Car is moving. There it is. It's looking beautiful. Love it. The other bag's releasing pressure. Down, Nate, or what are you doing? Unintentional. Yeah, Airing down. Oh, you got a flat? It's just right there. It's already. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, you better put the uh, nail back in there. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, just hold your finger on there. Oh, you just pulled the axle off. You want to try a double? Two points. Yeah, well, stay there. That's a Chevrolet. It is a Capri Classic. This line was donated. In fact, I forget the name of the tow company. I'll, I'll put a link to it down below. Paul has a tow company. He's second generation tow truck back in Ohio, donated this underwater recovery Dyneema rope and everything to me, and some other fun little goodies. Check them out if you're in Ohio, and Paul is going to be coming up on some future episodes this summer with me. Thanks, Paul. 
Elite, if this is your first time and you've never been here before, Elite Towing, their entire company, they've been with me since the very first car I pulled out here in Portland last year. They donate their time, their services. If you need a good tow company anywhere in the Portland Metro Vancouver market, use the discount code YouTube down below with this phone number. We should pressure wash this one as well. I think we should. Only if the viewers say that we should, so. 5,000 likes. If five people say, hey Jared, go clean that car, I think we should do it. Yeah. That's all we need, just five. That's it, five. Well, you pop the rims, Brandon. You know, I was gonna sell those wheels until you ran them on the uh, pavement. So a few more things that we have to do before it goes on the tow truck. We actually have to open the trunk. You have something to pop the uh, trunk? Yeah, well, let's just do it. Yeah, this one's 18. So Brandon's grabbing you a crowbar right now, and your job right. is to get that open. Oh. And, I, and I have a pair of gloves as well, if you need yeah, a pair. For sure. Where, where'd that come from? Right there. So somebody was asking me the other day, how many times do we find a fish in the car? And normally about 70% of the time we find a fish in the car. Did you try the trunk release? Oh, we didn't try that one today. Hey, oh yeah, this was the fish net. Watch out, it might fall. All right, well, I, didn't, I don't have my gloves on. Hey. I think, yeah. All right, well, I, got, I am gonna say it's pretty safe. There's no body in the back there. <laughs> Thanks Matt for uh, supplying lunch today. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like one? You're good. You know, now that you've received lunch, does that still make you a volunteer? Mm-hmm. two cars today i hope that you guys enjoyed the episode if you have not already done so make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification that way they get an instant notice about the next video about the next video nate thanks for coming out that's it for now later later bye bye